Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. Today is a new segment that I'm going to be calling Hot or Not. So I took this list off of the Hot Top 10 Weekly from Comic Con 101, and this was based off the first week of January 2019. So we're only talking like a uh, almost uh, two months now. And I'm only looking at the top five books to see if they're still hot. So first up, as you can see in the picture right here, is Black Knight variant number three. Now, at that time, when it first hit on the list, it was selling from, they said, around $30. So here I'm on eBay, and today is uh, February 26th. And the one for 25 variant, which he showed, is selling for like 21.25. Uh, here's some other variants. Here's one that sold for 44.99, 49.95, 24.50, So it looks like while this book is, I wouldn't say really hot, it's more simmering, but it's still holding its price. So if you had missed out back then on picking up this variant and you're enjoying this this series, it might be a variant that you might be interested in picking up. But it looks like the trend that it is dropping a little bit. So if you if you wait another month, maybe two, you might be able to pick this book under twenty dollars. So the next that he had on his list is um Avengers number 684, which is the first Immortal Hulk. Now, they had that book for $15. So today on eBay, one sold for $29.99. These are second prints, so they don't count. $30, $30.99, $35, $36, $40, $45, $50, $55, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,
appreciate it more if you hit a like button, hit the like button and leave a comment below about what do you think these books are? Um, how do you, well, sorry, I got in tongue, tongue tied, but um, the appreciation of these books, what do you think? They're going to still stay hot or the ones who are simmering down, will they ever peak up again? So, you know, leave your opinions down below. We'd love to hear from you. This is going to be a really short video, people. So Cosmic Ghost Wider number one is uh, 350. I could not find this variant for one in 75. So I don't think any of them are currently listed. In fact, you know, what they have here are not the covers that they showed. So I can't tell you this book is maintaining its price, but a lot of these Cosmic Ghost Rider, that still seems to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just um, a little tired, but um, this book is still on the rise. That's not the word I was looking for, but uh, the trend is going up on these books. And some of these books are maintaining their value, like Thanos number 13, has a uh, 105.50 for 9.6, and they were talking about 350 on this book being on the high end grade. So if you have this book, you're probably happy that you have it. And the last book is Avengers 47, and they also showed Avengers 48. Avengers 47 is the first Silver Age Dane Whiteman Black Knight. And they had this book going for as high as 285, but those were high grades that they said at the time. So you have a, a fine going for 76. I uh, don't really know the condition on this one. It seems like you can get fine books, which are anywhere like from 7.0 to 8.0 for like $80, which for a first appearance for and an early Avenger book, doesn't seem like that's not a bad of a deal, especially if you're into Avengers, like here's a copy that's a 6.052. So these books are continuing to hold their value. And there is always a rumor that in stage four or five, most likely five, when they really start doing uh, obscure characters, that Black Knight's supposed to make an appearance because when they start shifting to a new Avenger team, you should be able to see these type of characters make the screen. And the next one was that was, they also noted was uh, number first. I mean, Avengers 48, the first Black Knight, the third. So this is a cool copy. Um, this one sold for 159, but it's best offer. So, you know, at least 120 to up to um 130 or maybe 135 but it could have gone as low as 110 to 115 seems reasonable and the only reason why i say that because uh currently this book sold for the next one i'm showing you right here is 119 this is an 8.0 so you're talking about an avengers number 48 to be to get that book at an 8.0 any of these these books from that era from that silver age era is actually pretty good Here's a 220 for an 8.0 that CGC certified. Uh, first appearance of Vision, oh, but it was in a lot, so I kind of that doesn't count. Um, here's one in Very Good for 62. So that'll do it, people. I just wanted to show you a, a, a glimpse into the market and what's going on. And for you guys, if you're looking to buy these books, just do your homework. See what they're selling for. Start tracking it. And, you know, make the best decision that you can financially afford. And remember, you know, just collect the books that you want to collect for your collection and that you enjoy reading or collecting. Then you're not too worried about the market. You're only paying attention to the market to look for great deals. So that'll do it, people. Hope you guys are having a good week and I'll catch you tomorrow. Late.